graph y equals 2x minus 6 over x plus 2 without using the graphing feature of your calculator. To graph this, we will find the horizontal asymptote, vertical asymptotes, the y-intercept, x-intercepts, and the domain and range. Set up the graph and create a green box to store graph data. Begin by finding the horizontal asymptote. The degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator. Use the equation y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator to find the horizontal asymptote. The leading coefficient of the numerator is 2, and the leading coefficient of the denominator is 1. Dividing gives a result of 2. The horizontal asymptote is the line y equals 2. Now we'll find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the zeros of the polynomial in the denominator. Write the equation x plus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2 from both sides to get x equals negative 2. There is a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. Now we'll find the y-intercept. The y-intercept occurs at x equals 0. Plug in 0 for x. This evaluates to negative 3. The y-intercept occurs at the point 0, negative 3. Now we'll find the x-intercepts. x-intercepts occur when y equals 0. Set y equal to 0 and solve for x. Plug in 0 for y. Multiply both sides by x plus 2. This gives us 0 equals 2x minus 6. Add 6 to both sides of the equation. Divide both sides by 2 to get x equals 3. There is an x-intercept at the point 3, 0. Now we'll find other points. We need to manually find a few points so that we know how to shape the graph. Find a few points in the left region. Next, find a few points in the right region. We now have enough information to draw the graph accurately. Finally, we'll state the domain and range. The domain is x belongs to a set of real numbers with the restriction that x cannot equal negative 2. The range is y belongs to a set of real numbers with the restriction that y cannot equal 2.